Hello, and welcome to AJVTS.com Clipcast, a setting up of VPCS in GNS3. My name is Aleem HLE. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm this handsome gentleman to the right. And in this Clipcast, we'll be discussing what is a virtual personal computer simulator, or VPCS, and setting up a VPCS in GNS3. So, let's get started. A virtual PC simulator, as the name suggests, is a simulator used to emulate, well, a PC. Now don't confuse this with the virtual PC, which is developed and distributed by Microsoft. No, this simulator is a small, simple, but yet lightweight PC simulator which runs on either Linux or Windows and it comes in very handy situations where all you need is a ping or choice route to test your design and network behavior. The VPCS can simulate up to 9 PCs, each of them using a pair of UDP ports to talk and listen to Cisco routers that runs in your Genus 3 environment. The virtual PC simulator listens on UDP port starting at 20,000 and waits for Dynamips to connect. It then sends packets to the UDP port starting at 30,000. So, for example, the first VPCS will use UDP port 20,000 for listening and use UDP port 30,000 for sending. The next VPCS will use UDP port 20,001 and 30,001 respectively and so on for the remaining virtual PCSs. Now with all that being said, there really isn't much more to talk about except to download and install. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Alright, as you can see the first thing we need to do is go to GNS3's download webpage as shown on the screen. From here, we need to scroll down to the bottom to the section where it says Other Downloads and click on VPCS Virtual PC Simulator. From here, it will take us to SourceForge's website. However, do not click on Download as shown on the middle of the screen. Since we're working in a Windows environment, we need two specific files in order for the simulator to be operational. So we have to click on Browse All Files. From here, We'll click on the .5 folder, then we click on beta, and from here we will choose the two specific files, which are the vpcs underscore 0.5 b2.exe and at the bottom the cyg win1.dll. Now these two files must exist in the same folder on your machine in order for it to work as the application will need to call this DLL file. Alright, so there's no need for me to download it since I've downloaded it already and it is here on my desktop in my folder labeled VPCS. So all I have to do is double click the folder and double click the application. And as you can see we have the Windows Security Warning page. I will choose Run, and here we are. This window, from a simulator perspective, represents all nine nodes or PCs, and the number in square brackets represents the current virtual PC simulator we're on, which is number one. To switch between the others, all we have to do is type the corresponding number to that specific virtual PC simulator. For example, if I want to jump on the second VPCS, I will type in two, and hit enter. And you notice that the number in the square brackets has changed to 2. If I want to jump on the 8th virtual PC simulator, all I have to do is type in 8 and hit enter and etc for the remainder. Now I'm going to set a few attributes so we can add this virtual PC simulator to its simple GNS3 topology. So the first thing I'll do is go back to the first VPCS. I'll type in 1 and hit enter and next I will assign a host name to this virtual PC simulator. So I'll do that by entering set PC name and a name to which I want to call this device which will be AHA-1 and enter. And as you notice the host name has changed from VPCS to AHA-1. Great. Next I will assign an IP address to this virtual PC. 
In order to do so, I'll type in IP followed by 10.10.10.2 space slash 24 for the subnet mask and then space 10.10.10.10.1 for the default gateway which will be an IP address assigned to an interface on a router. And I'll hit enter here. And the machine is checking to see if there's any duplicate addresses and right now this PC1 has an IP address of 10.10.10.2 with a 24-bit subnet mask and a gateway of 10.10.10.1. Great, so this VPCS is ready to be used within GNS3. So let's go ahead and create a simple GNS3 topology to utilize this virtual PC. All right. As you can see in the GNS3's project white space, I have a basic network topology, and it consists of two routers and an ether switch. Between router 1 and router 2 is fast ethernet on the network segment 12.12.12/24. And router 1 is connected to the ether switch using fast ethernet on the network segment 10.10.10/24. Now it's time to add our VPCS to this network topology. The first thing I'll do is click on the fourth tab down here to browse all devices. And I will choose the host and drag and drop it onto the white space like this. Next, I will right click the host to change its host name. I think I'll call this VPCS-1. Okay, click OK. And as you can see, the name has changed here to VPCS-1. Next, I will right click again and configure. We'll click on the VPCS and then we will choose the tab here that says NIO UDP. NIO stands for Network Input and Output. So once clicked, I will choose the settings which is appropriate for this device. We have the local port as 30,000 and the remote port as 20,000. These are the specific UDP ports used for VPCS1. So I will eliminate the remaining input-output UDP port assignments. So I'll delete that one, delete all of these, and leave the first one. And then I'll click Apply here and click OK. Next, I'll choose the connecting icon and select Manual and hover over the VPCS, click on that, and choose the bottom bullet and connect it to the switch. I think I'll connect it to port 8 and there we have it. Currently right now the VPCS is imported to a GNS3 topology. To see if it works let's go ahead and go back to our VPCS window. I'll just drop this down a little bit here if I can. Scroll to the bottom here, hit the arrow a few times. All right, so let's go ahead and ping that interface, fast ethan is 0 slash 0 on router 1, which happens to be 10.10.10.1. And let's see what happens. All right, so as you can see, we can ping that interface on router 1. So from the perspective of our VPCS1, we have network connectivity throughout this basic topology. To validate that, let's go ahead and ping from router 1 back to the VPCS. So I'll ping 10.10.10.2 now. And as you can see, we have network connectivity. Let's go ahead and ping from router 2 now. Ping 10.10.10.2. And there we have it. Great. As you can see, we have end-to-end -end connectivity from our virtual PC1 to our router too. Well, this small program is quite useful when testing end-to-end -end connectivity within your network design when using GNS3. It can also be helpful when you're working on the aha-vts.com's CCNA Lab Flick. Well, in this clipcast, we discuss what is a virtual personal computer simulator, or VPCS, and setting up a VPCS in a simple GNS3 topology. You can visit us on YouTube at the URL shown below, 
or you can visit www.aha-vts.com for more clips, flicks, clipcasts, and much, much more. I hope this clipcast of setting up a VPCS in GNS3 was helpful, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.